Wayne Tebow is an American painter. He is known for his colorful landscapes and arrangements of common objects such as lipstick, paint cans, and his most popular images, cakes. This week we are drawing realistic cakes inspired by Wayne Tebow. Our cakes will appear three-dimensional through value, texture, and drawing techniques. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need a pencil, eraser, and a ruler. Start by creating an oval for the top of your cake. You can make your cake as big as you'd like. Next, you are going to draw in two vertical lines on the sides of your oval. This will determine the height of your cake. You can make your cake as tall or as short as you'd like. At the bottom, you are going to need to draw a curve that matches the bottom of the top oval. So draw on that curve, just do your best with this. Remember, this is a cake, it does not have to be perfectly straight. Lightly draw a dot in the center of the top oval. Then use your ruler and the two bottom points where those lines meet that curve. Use your ruler, line it up, and draw a light dot near the center. Just do your best with this. Now it's time to create the slice in our cake, so yours can be as wide as you want. So go ahead and draw two lines coming out from that center point to determine the width of your slice. Next you are going to draw two vertical lines coming straight down from the bottom corners of that triangle that you've made. You will need to finish off the slice at the bottom of your cake by creating a line from the center point to the bottom of those vertical lines you just drew in. Now you can erase the top and bottom edge that have been cut away. We'll need to create one more line to finish off our three-dimensional slice. Now, using your ruler, connect the two points together in the center. Now we've drawn our three-dimensional cake, we need to create some layers. The layers are going to be used to show our value. I'm going to create five layers by drawing four lines. You can measure out each section if you want to, or you can do what I'm doing and just kind of do your best to eyeball it. For the next side, make sure you line up with your original bottom edge so your angle stays the same. Once you finish your layers, it's time to decorate your cake. You could use birthday candles, flowers, you could add fruit, I'm adding a little strawberry here. You can add frosting designs, it is completely up to you how you decorate this cake. Now it's time for us to create value, so choose the color for the inside of your cake. Just pick one. I'm going to go ahead and go with this kind of red burgundy color. You're going to start by pressing really hard at the bottom level of your cake. This will be your darkest value. Make sure you're pressing hard and getting this area completely solid. For your next layer, you're going to be pressing a little bit lighter. My recommendation is to move your hand up on your pencil just a little bit. As 
as you move up your cake, you want each layer to keep getting lighter. Moving your hand up on your pencil will help you to not press as hard as you get up to these lighter layers at the top. Make sure you're really going super light on these top two layers. Your top one, you can leave mainly white. And there you go, you've made a value scale. Now it's time to color in your work. I recommend using crayons or oil pastels, something that's gonna give you a nice texture on your frosting. Something that will help your cake look even more realistic is adding some value to your frosting. So underneath your candles or any decoration or near the edges, add a little bit of dark value. The other thing I recommend doing is taking your white crayon or oil pastel and going over the top. This will kind of blend everything together and smooth it out and really create that frosting-like texture. For the background, you have a couple options. Number one, you could use your ruler and draw a table line behind your cake. This will help it look more 3D. Your other option would be to do what I'm doing, which is cut out your cake and then collage it onto a background. To help our cakes look even more 3D, we can add some value to the table. For this, you can use a pencil or a gray crayon. I'm using a gray crayon and I'm adding a shadow to one side of my table. I'm also going to add a little bit of a shadow onto the inside of my cake. I hope you have fun creating your Wayne Tebow inspired cake. I cannot wait to see what you post on the Padlet.